Okay, new challenge, guys. Apocalyptic times. Hopefully this never happens, but um, kind of scary to even imagine. All stores are closed. There's no meat, no fresh food. Everything's shut down. So you got to go hunt for your own grub. So we got the wild buffaloes. First shot counts. Uh, the whole body. You even plug out here in his hoof, whatever his tail, it counts as a point. Then you got to touch the red for a point. Okay, trying to make it kind of fun. That's the wild buffalo. The squirrel trying to get a nut. Hit just tail, no hit. So if I'm out here and I hit the tail and no part of the body, it doesn't count as a hit. All right, the nut counts, his hands, his little ear, whatever. So if you hit just the tail, it doesn't count. Beaver, save a tree, eat a beaver. It's always been my motto. The um, You can hit any part of that little beaver and you're good to go. Counts as a point. Turkeys, same way. Plug it. If you don't got a plug, use a bullet. Highly recommend the plugs. They're, they're really cool to have. The deer, if you hit up here on his antler, you touching that deer and plug it in any way, it's a point. It's a good. That has to be hit on the last, on the not on the last, but on the 21st shot. Okay, you got to hit that after you hit this. If you hit it before, you lose a point, and then you can continue and try to score up on that turkey if you if you pre-hit that one. Okay, you do have a, a five-point bonus up here. This bonus is optional. If you go for it and hit it, you get five points. If you go for it and miss it, you take away five points. Pretty straightforward, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. Looks like fun. I want to get out and try it and uh, see how I do. Okay, down here this morning, got a little uh, SK pistol mess, do a little blow off, and then go right at my Lapua. Picked up some more Center X. And, and uh, go right at this out here at 50.
that one count, but I hit my deer, bagged my deer, and I got my five point bonus there. So not too shabby. I'll plug it back to the house. And uh, like I said, that's the SK pistol and that one flyer up, up big one o'clock way up there. And it always comes back zero. So two of the uh, SK pistol match. And then went right at the Lapua, three shots and figured I was zeroed. A cold shot up here and uh, hit my side in there. And went right at it. So not too bad. Out here 50. Okay, back to the house, guys, and I'll plug this thing up. I recommend a plug, or if you don't have a plug, get a shell, but they're probably about 20 bucks shipped to your door, so kind of a good way to go there, I think. Um, takes any guesswork out of it. So I did pick up a brick of the Lapua Center X. I've uh, decided that's the one I'm going to start going with more than anything else, other than the pistol match, which I think are very close. This is a little more predictable. Um, that's why they're labeled the way they are. So the Pua Center X, if it's not shooting right, it's usually something I'm doing, either with trigger control or um, pulling with my rear bag, you know, doing something stupid. But it's usually, I can't blame it on the ammo. I can blame it on the barrel, but the barrel's in the situation it's in because I didn't clean it properly. So anyway, enough blabbing. Cleared all my buffaloes. And uh, this one does count. You start off with it. I did do a cold, and sure enough, 15 minutes between I did my side ends over here, I had three little pacers I showed there, and from that time getting back to the bench, I'm glad I did do a cold shot, because it did. It always shoots high on a cold. Then I nailed that, so I knew I was on. Okay, so this one counts, even though it doesn't have the red, it's a little easier because it's bigger. Figured get your get your eyes used to what's going on here. I hit uh, five of them. I cleared all five of them, I do believe, because if you plug any of the body, yeah, that's touching the body, guys. I don't know if you can pick that up. And uh, this one, too, tail hit, but touching the body, so I'm okay. If I was out here and not touching the body, it's not going to count. As long as you plug and touch. So these are, you know, this takes all the guesswork out of it. It does. You just plug it. This one here, it looks like a miss. It plugged. Okay, got his butt there. So I've got uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, a clear miss there. Okay, so where was I? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Plugged his feathers, 22. Missed this guy altogether. Hit my bonus deer, just nailed him. So that's awesome. Bag your deer at 300. Got him five points, okay? And then I hit my bonus, optional bonus. This is, if you go with this, you're either going to get five points or you're going to have five points uh, minus off of your overall score. So it is a gamble, guys. You don't have to go with it. So uh, we'll count them up real quick. We got uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I forget on this one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. This was the eighteen, I do believe. Eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I got that too. So it's a, a high of 28, guys. So that's my high score. Got the uh, no pro here. Rifle CZ457 Varmint MTR. And the ammo was Lapua. Center X. Yeah, there you go. So, here you go, guys. Kind of put a put one out here for you to kind of see how I scored it. That way there's no confusion. Um, I'm sorry on some of my targets. It can be confusing, and I have a hard time. I was going over another guy's targets that I was shooting, and, and it's hard if you don't. You know, I designed them, and I still got to go back and look at them. So, uh, hope you have fun with this, guys. It's available. Just check my drop, drop down, and I'll... Uh, Send you off a file, you can print it up yourself. And they all uh, print up at a uh, letter size.